Oh, goodness. Oh, man. Phew. What's up, everybody? Chad, and the Farms. Man, it's good to be home. Huge thank you again to Tartar Industries, Haas Tools, and Jason and Brooke and Mary Carl at Coghill. Huge thank you. That was amazing, amazing, amazing. If you haven't seen those videos, they're all linked down below. I had several people message me and say they missed the four-wheeler rides. I do too. Uh, but there's one thing about this property that I can't do with the four-wheelers when it's been raining, and it has been raining for 48 hours nonstop for the last two days, is the mud. I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd love nothing more to rip around on a four-wheeler. And back here on my property that I lease, you can't really rip around. I mean, we could ride, but there's just a lot of brush and debris and things like that. And it's not a, it's not a smooth ride. It's not fun. I mean, I could drive up and down the road, but it's an ATV. Mom and dad brought in like 150 loads of dirt last year when they built this house. 150 loads of fill dirt. So they're getting ready to bring in some topsoil to put down. So the last thing we want to do is make some ruts and all that stuff. So no four-wheeler ride today, but I promise you as soon as it dries out, which could be a while, um, we'll, uh, we'll get back on the four-wheeler. With that said, we're gonna move this. This was hidden back here and we're gonna go put it back here again. That made me breathe harder than, than it probably should have. <laughs> I also just carried two heavy things. That's why I'm breathing hard, not just from pushing that cart. So <laughs> just want to clarify, take it easy on me. Let's go check on everybody. Man, you know what's crazy about going south? Everything is already green down south, everything. Cows are already munching on pasture, all of it. I'm talking about like where Cog Hill is, like it's already green. Like they already got potatoes in the ground, everything. It's supposed to be 60 today, 70 tomorrow, 50 on Wednesday, and then Thursday it's supposed to be, I think it's like a high of 40 and a low of 34 at night. Jeez, I'm over it. Look at that sunshine. Oh, and I wanna clear something up with you guys. I posted a picture of Red strutting around the other day, feeling pretty confident. She was basically showing off for these new chicks and the new turkeys we put in here. And she was all fanned out. And we don't have a red bourbon male. That's just a female fanning out. We don't have any males yet, but we're going to get one this week. This week, like I just confirmed it. I just messaged our subscriber. I know we're going to get one. Super excited about that. What you doing? What you doing, Hi, Smokey? Oh, baby. You almost need a bath. Is that a bad word? Get it. Get it. Oh, she gone. So here's Red. Yep, still waiting on Tom. That's how we feed the baby chicks. But I'm trying to figure out who's a rooster and who isn't. The reason they're still in here for now, we're going to trade a subscriber for a turkey uh, she has a black spanish to go with our black spanish hens we got from kevin at hidden heights if you haven't seen that video you know where to look and she has a black spanish that will breed to these hens and to our red but we're gonna take some roosters to her just gotta figure out who's a rooster so we've still got our little am samani right there where's magneto jr I believe that's Magneto Jr. right there. Yeah, definitely is. Definitely, definitely. So anyway, we got to figure out who's a rooster. But these two ladies are still super skittish. So, oh man, I just got drenched. I just got soaked. Here, let's uh, run that dew off of there. There we go. So while we were gone, dad propped up grandpa propped up the tent and we got these we got a feed bucket there like a squirrel baffle for a bird feeder there and this is a mat like a cooling mat for a pet did you already bury the pig here she already buried it 
Anyway, that's what we've come up with for now. It works. Uh, they're definitely not going anywhere because there's a lot of tension on top of them holding them in place. We left this open right here. So we do get some water in here, but the turkeys aren't complaining. What's up? Where'd a pig ear go? Where'd a pig ear go? Huh? Where'd it go? Your nose is dirty, so I know where it went. I know where it went. All right, hang on. Let's feed everybody. And if y'all are new here, I've had some people call this a cage. And I don't take offense to that because... I don't take offense to that because you're new here and you don't understand what's going on or I haven't clarified enough. But this is almost a half acre, maybe a little more than a half acre pin that Smokey lives in. We're actually getting ready to extend it all the way around the turkeys and all the way around to the other side. So she's about to get, I bet you that doubles the space she has now. But this is her space. She does not need anymore. She doesn't want anymore. We've let her out several times off camera and she gets very, very nervous and she runs around looking for, it's almost like she's trying to figure out what's her territory and what's not. It really, really makes her nervous. That's why we don't do that. She's good. She's happy. She's content. Trust me. Oh, pig, pig. Oh, pig, pig. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. What's she doing? What's she doing? You got bacon seeds in there yet? You got bacon seeds? Hoss. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up? Man, you made a mess. We're gonna get him a pig hut. Oop, stepping in the mud. You can see how much it's been raining. We're gonna get Hoss a pig hut, like Lola has. You're looking majestic. Uh, I wanted to show you guys something too. You guys know we're friends with Walker Farm fam, like real good friends, like message them all the time, good friends. This is where we got our rabbits. And look at this. That's hair. But she, Lincoln, she has not been with a male. So that hair she's pulling out, I guess that's from her shedding. It's warmed up, so I guess that's what that's from. But Blinken is not doing it. <laughs> He's going to keep putting the show on for you guys, but we got to feed everybody here. Everybody's going to start crowing. What's up, buddy? You know what I should have asked Carter for? It was a bunker, a feed bunker for you guys. I think I'll send him an email and ask him. See if you guys will treat a bunk from Tartar better than you treat the one I made for you. Yeah, I did that for y'all. I did it for y'all. You have no respect, no respect. So, I have still not seen Magneto's girlfriends. I'm counting. Old buddy is getting it this morning. Are you gonna crow? Row, 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 row. Row, 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 row. Row, 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 row. You got the zoomies? You got the zoomies? I know what you need. I know what you need. Uh, I know what Smokey wants. You guys do too. I don't want to give this away too much, but see that blue barrel? I've mentioned it several times, but if you're new here, Lola and Haas use those blue barrels with pig nipples on them, pig nipple waterers, and that's how they get their water. But when we had the deep freeze, the Arctic blast that everybody had, Haas's, even without a sealed top, it actually expanded and busted the bottom out of the blue barrel. So when I went to Tartar, like I'm just giving away the secret, uh, surprise, but 
Tartar saw that and said, hey, you need one of our pig waterers. So they're sending me one. It's like unbreakable, made of metal. I have wanted one of these things for so long and Tartar sent me one. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Because those blue barrels are great and Haas and Lola will use them. They're fine. The chickens even use them. I want to give Haas his blue barrel back. And then because Lola's going to have baby piggies, I want to bring the pig water that Tartar is sending into here. So yeah, that's what I want to do. Anyway, totally giving away that surprise, but I'm just super excited. They've already shipped it and everything. Just got to wait on it to get here. And for right now, we're just refilling Haas's little bowls that he uses. And Lola has the blue barrel because it's got like 40 gallons of water in it. And I don't want to dump that out. And you can't move it with 40 gallons of water in it. So we're going to let Lola drink it down a little bit. Then when the new one gets here, we'll put it in there with Lola. Maybe I do need to start jogging around the farm a little bit. What's up, dog? What's up, dog? She has been waiting on this for like a week. You know, grandpa took really good care of her, grandpa and grandma, but there ain't nothing like wrestling with dad. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Listen, you gotta back up. Back up. No, no, no. Oh, dude. Dude, that landed in poo poo. That's your doo doo. Take it easy on the digits. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Oh, I love you. I miss you so much. I did. I miss you so much. Yeah. She always gets loving, even if you guys don't see it on camera. My subscribers will tell you that. She's very, very spoiled. We always come back and see her in the afternoons. Grandpa always comes and checks on her. And she is 100% Great Pyrenees. If you haven't seen that video, right above Smokey's head, the eye card. So most Great Pyrenees are all white, but she has badgering on her face, which is kind of rare. So, but she's Great Pyrenees. Her parents are Great Pyrenees. Her grandparents are Great Pyrenees. And the grandparents on both sides were 100% Great Pyrenees. There is nothing about this dog that isn't Great Pyrenees. So she's huge. She's getting bigger. If she looks small, Remember, I'm about 270 pounds, give or take five or 10 or 15. She's a big dog. She's got the double dew claw, the thick coat. My goodness, her fur is thick, fur is thick. She was born June 20th, so do the math for me. Today's March 15th. You guys do the math, what's eight, nine months old? And she's getting pretty big. I'm trying to pick her up, but she'd probably go crazy. I'm gonna pick you up. Let's see how much you weigh. But let's see how big she is. Here, come here. Oh, good. Great. Here's the deal. She's more than 30. I bet she's about 60 pounds. About 60 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you knocked my camera in the poo poo. And the poo-poo. Let's go feed everybody. Come on. This is the duck pen because Smokey doesn't like ducks one bit. So we got three Welsh Harlequins. We got a chicken we call Silva that nobody gets along with. We got a French Cuckoo Moran that nobody gets along with. And for some reason, this little Rhode Island Red, that's a red, uh, we hatched, or no, I'm sorry, we got her from Meyer Hatchery. See how she's soaking wet and not very happy? She had a very bad habit of getting into Smokey's food. Smokey doesn't want the birds in her food. That chicken has unlimited access to a feeder right here for chicken, for food. She has a pen right here, which Smokey can't get into. And she still tried to eat Smokey's food. And apparently when we weren't out here, Smokey told her to stop and she didn't listen. So now she's a duck. 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 Duck, 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 duck. It's all right? It's all right. So there's one of Magneto's girls. Okay, there they are. 
This is the one he was just making Magneto Juniors with, and these are his two favorites. These are two cream leg bars, and then he's got a new favorite, which I'm really excited about. There she is, Pina de Cinca. We call her Penny, because I don't ever say that word right. Even though Mary Carl down at Cog Hill helped me say it like five or six times, I still can't say it. But Magneto was with her the other day, and she's already laying, and she lays a dark chocolate brown egg. Dark chocolate brown. So I'm gonna hatch her out, see what we get. She's a super cool looking bird. I didn't do that, I think she stepped on the throne. Throne, thorn. But these are his jams. So that's every chicken that we've got right now, except for the ones that are in the, the, the pullets, the starts. Ooh, muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Here we go. So this is Penny, the Penny de Sinca. That's her egg. And the camera doesn't do that justice. But man, that's dark brown. It's so pretty. Let's put it up here for now. We got one in there. Nope. That means we've probably got a few in here. Oh yeah. I may take all of these home and see if we can hatch them. Hang on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Got it. Got it. Woo! And some of y'all have expressed concern that by feeding Smokey, not, not very many of you, usually Usually just those of you that are kind of new. Let me set you up here. Some of y'all expressed concern that Smokey might eat the chicken eggs, but she won't because she can't get to where they lay. Now, yes, any chicken can decide to lay on the ground as they're walking anytime they want. But ours, thankfully, come back to the coop because I know how many chickens we have, I know how many eggs we get, I know when they lay, I know their patterns, all that good stuff. So she's not gonna randomly find one on the ground unless a chicken's just, you know, walking along and drops a butt nugget. So anyway, let's see those right there. Magneto's wanting scratch. He's spoiled rotten. So let's get him some scratch. Put some of this down. All right, hopefully those don't fall. Don't knock him over, lady. By the way, that French cuckoo Moran lays a beautiful, huge egg. This ginormous lavender Orpington lays the smallest egg. And she's a bully, she's mean. Now that's not, that's not a lavender Orpington thing. That's, that's, we call her Silva. She's just mean. But she lays a tiny little egg for such a mean bird. Yeah, I think you need anger management. Yep. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Nope, nope, not listening. Nobody else is listening either. Yeah. Jump up in there and lay a big egg. These are our two ruin... Ruin ducks. They're both males. Whoops. These are Welsh Harlequins. We hatch them out. They're super awesome. They lay a ton of eggs. We don't even know what to do with all the duck eggs we have. Don't tell them, but I'm not exactly... I don't, I don't really like duck eggs. They don't taste good to me. They're kind of greasy. I guess we have ducks for fun. She's gonna lay an egg. Did you listen? She's gonna jump in there and lay an egg. I don't believe it. Or she's just taunting me. But let's see how many duck eggs. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. So here's the French cuckoo Moran egg. Look at that. That's just young lady right here. And if you don't think that's huge, look how big it is next to a duck egg. They're almost the same size. Yep. This chicken right here, she always gets mad. Let's see the back of her neck. Yours truly. Look how big that French cuckoo, look at the size of that egg. Yeah. And then she laid a little bitty one. So, all right. Now comes the fun part. Any eggs in there? And that way. Uh, I don't think there's actually any in there. So I was kind of hoping that the males would get dominant enough 
to breed with the females and we could hatch some more ducks out. Like I know they'd be mixed. I know I just said they lay eggs and we don't even eat them, but I like baby ducks. Let's get her egg. I know what you're waiting on. Smokey likes some duck eggs though. You like them? I know you do. Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness, look how big that is. There you go, lady. Here, I'm on the wrong side. It's all yours. And by the way, that feeder, I'll link that down below. My only complaint is the door's starting to stick. That's no good. So I'm either gonna drill some holes and add a weight to it or something like that. But also, if you're new here, this is Smokey's house. She doesn't use it. She does, it's, it's like too warm. She don't like it, but it's rough cut cedar, shingles, and it's got drip edge. There's a ton of room in there. She loves it, it's huge. It's easily, I'll get an official measurement here. It's five feet long and four feet wide. It's huge. And you know where she sleeps? Underneath this piece of siding on the back of this trailer with a tree growing up in it almost every night. So what's that tell you? Everybody's happy, happy, happy. What's going on out here? Hey, you be good. I'll be back, I promise. I'll be back shortly, okay? I'm also gonna run to Atwood's and see if they have a little chicken coop because in case you don't know we lease our land was i filming myself or was it way over there in case you don't know we lease our land next to mom and dad and then i've got a quarter acre in town with a house on it that we rent while we look for a farm we can buy i'm always looking but with the price of lumber right now housing market has gone up so it just is what it is. I'm not in a huge hurry. I want to make sure that it's something we pray about. And, you know, I'm looking for my dream farm because I don't have a bad setup right here. So I'm not just going to buy a farm just to buy a farm. I, I want what I want. And, uh, yeah, we'll figure it out. But, but with that said, I want to get a little chicken coop to keep three or four of the little chicks we just hatched. Like Magneto Jr., the AM Samani and a couple others, I wanna keep them at the house. So I wanna find one of those little chicken coops I can just move around, so. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run to Atwoods and take a little look-see. Check that out. Buddy hooked me up. I'm gonna give these to the pigs because I messaged my buddy Kevin at Hidden Heights and I said, hey, what, are we sh what should we do? He used to have ducks. What should we do with all these duck eggs because we just don't eat them? And I know that sounds like a waste, but you know, there's really nothing that goes to waste on a farm. And he said, have you given them to your pigs? And or I'm sorry, I asked him, I said, can you give them to pigs? And he said, oh yeah, all the time. Now, if you Google can ducks, or I'm sorry, if you Google can pigs eat duck eggs, you're gonna get a whole lot of pig experts and egg experts saying don't do it. Then you can ask anybody who's ever had pigs and had a farm and processed them if they give their pigs eggs. And they're gonna say, yeah, all the time. I got a paint chip on the top of my truck. Dad gum it. All right. So what I'm gonna do is give Haas and Lola, I'm gonna start giving them an egg a piece. I don't know how y'all feel about that, but it's happening. Oh, and inside the package here. Whoa. There we go. But when I was heading home from Alabama, I was talking to my buddy Kevin on the phone and I got out at one of them gas stations that you just keep your head on a swivel. I took my Discover card out, I paid for gas. I put the Discover card in my breast pocket because I had a jacket on with a pocket right here. And then I laid this on the back of my tailgate. Why did I lay this on the back of my tailgate? 
I have absolutely no idea. I've never done it before, but this is the wallet I use. It's from Magpul, it's like 20 bucks. All I had in there was debit cards, driver's license, no pictures of the boys, nothing like that. If anybody's out there in Alabama and you found Chad Doss's wallet at uh, Alabama, I've already canceled all the debit cards. You didn't try it, so I appreciate it. And it may have flown off on the highway. Nobody may have, nobody may ever find it. I don't know how long it stayed on the tailgate. That's the wallet I use. I'll link it down below in case anybody wants one. Just a minimalist wallet. I have no idea why that made it into this video, but there you go. Let's go do an errand for dad or a chore. We have daylight savings time here. And if you guys don't have daylight savings time, man, count yourself fortunate. We're in the good portion of it right now. Like it's darker later. I'm sorry. It's lighter later. Like the sun doesn't set until 7.30 tonight. Yesterday, before daylight savings time, the sun was setting at like 6.30, but we moved our clocks forward an hour, backwards an hour. So we gained an hour of daylight. So I stinking love this thing. Love it. 50% battery. Man, I installed this thing with eight AAA batteries, I think it takes. And it's still at 50%. That's incredible. It never fails. Rain or shine. It worked when it was negative 17 degrees outside. It's awesome. But we need to adjust this. See, right now, it closes at 7.15. We want to go ahead and make that 8. They have the ability to have it... Uh, close by daylight but i it's not that i don't trust it you just got to be really careful like this is the sensor it's kind of like a motion sensor like dust to dawn but you got to be really careful like i've got this barrier here and it could cast a shadow there's also a lot of trees i have real thick canopy over me in the summer when everything's green so i want to be really careful about using that light sensor because we definitely don't want to lock any chicks out so let me quit rambling here i got it on time mode versus light yeah, see, that's not good. It thinks it's 8.34 right now, so we need to adjust this to 9.34. It opens at 7 a.m., that's okay. Closes at 7.15. See, right now it closes right at sunset because the sun actually sets. You can see on the bottom of my watch there, 19.21, 7.21, so we want to change that. Probably go ahead and make it like eight o'clock, 8 p.m., which would be 20 hundred hours. This is actually, I'm a nerd. So me understanding military time, it's actually just server time to me. So like I'm a, I'm a nerd, IT systems, admin, that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and do 8 p.m. There we go. But if you want to understand military time, server time, all you have to do is subtract 12 from whatever you see. So. 20 minus 12 is 8 p.m. 21 minus 12, 9 p.m. You get the idea. I actually just got an email from my buddy Lori at Tartar, uh, Tartar USA, the plant we went and visited. And one of y'all sent a very sweet email and you ordered a fire ring or you went and picked up a fire ring, a planner from Tartar based on our video. And then you sent Lori and uh, the people I visited with, uh, Scott and Megan and Jordan, all of them, you sent them an email via the contact form how much you appreciated us being allowed to come tour it and how much you loved it. And man, that just means the world to me. Uh, Cause you never know being me or Tartar. You never know how people are gonna take it on YouTube. But I looked at that trip like number one, a learning experience, bonding with Case. Uh, it's certainly an awesome field trip for a little boy who's homeschooled, that's for sure. Uh, but. The fact that somebody took the time to email Tartar and tell him what you think of us, just sincerely appreciate it. And it's the same for anybody that left comments down below. I look at both of them the same. But for Tartar to send me that email, that should speak volumes for Tartar as well. The fact that they got that email from one of y'all and then shared it with me so that I would know how much you guys appreciate it. That should speak volumes for Tartar, the subscribers, you guys. Just, just warms my heart, guys. I genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. I know who sent the email. I'm not going to say their name, but uh, I sincerely appreciate it. So back to business here. Love my omelet door. I don't have a coupon code. I'll just put a link down below. They don't know who I am. Not sponsored. Bought this on my own. There was like a six-week wait. But I learned about this door 
from my boy Jason at Cog Hill. I'll link his video on this door. We're gonna do him the honors since he hooked us up with some stickers when we were down there. Shoo, look at that. Boy, look at that. Spiffy. Stamp of approval right there, boys and girls. Bam. Thanks, buddy. So here's what we need to do. Because we're going to expand the whole entire pen right here, and trust me, it's huge. I can't stress that enough. It's already big. We're going to make it even bigger. And the reason we're going to make it bigger is the turkey pen is not enclosed in the chicken run. Let's call this the chicken run, Smokey's area. And we want to make it go around the turkey pen so that Smokey can defend the turkeys as well, even though they're inside their own pen. The reason the turkeys are inside their own pen is they will fly away. But it is, I think they'll fly away. They certainly can. So the turkey pen is 10 by 30. It's massive, uh, especially for just four turkeys. But we need to, hang on. I know, you're super confused. Come here. <laughs> she's, she's so tired. Livestock guardian dogs sleep during the day, by the way. And they're usually up guarding at night. So she's probably ready to take a nap. See how this is sagging right here? What I want to do is get a couple T posts. We want it, we need access right here. Cause right now to get into this area, there's a gate over there. You can see the top of it, my pallet gates. So what we need to do, our only gate we have is right there. So since this is sagging, we're going to take the opportunity to cut it and put a gate in. But I forgot my grinding wheel, which you guys know is my favorite tool ever. So how are we going to cut that fence? Yeah, that's right, buddy boy. All right, remember when I said I was going to cut this fence with these pliers? That was, that was silly. You, you're not. No, you're not. This is, uh, let me show you. A horse fence. So it's woven. It's not like welded wire. And uh, I don't care how big an old boy you are. That ain't happening. So Smokey had a good laugh. But like I said, I got to run a couple errands. I only live eight minutes from the farm. So I'm going to run get my angle grinder and uh, take care of that. But I'll check back with you guys here in a minute. I'm not sure what I got planned and I got another phone call. The first step is admitting you have a problem. That's all I have to say. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Ah, right, let me show you what I did while this thing, while this thing checks it out. You think, does that pass the test? Is that pretty secure? Is that pretty secure? So I put another post in right here because it was sagging. And I don't I don't use the wire ties, I just use zip ties. You know, there people will say, well, that's gonna rot in the sun, that's gonna this, that's gonna that. <laughs> Do whatever. That's been there. You don't even want to know how long that's been there. Excuse me. So anyway, put that there. And as far as these gates go. I saw it on Pinterest, and before you get started on Pinterest versus Pinterest, do you find Pinterest interesting or interesting? I say it's Pinterest. Call me out how you want, I don't care. If you agree with me that it's Pinterest, put that down below with a couple of hyphens in it. If you think it's Pinterest, leave the hyphens out. We'll see, we'll see what everybody thinks. Saw it on Pinterest, pretty slick. I went ahead and put this here just to keep it from pulling away, but um, we'll add another one. Like right now it's too short to raise up over this and pull that in. So I'm gonna add a third zip tie, but it just gives us another way in and out. Pretty secure. What do you think? You like it? You like it? Looks pretty good, don't it? Looks pretty good, don't it? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Did you eat your pig ear already? Did you eat your pig ear? That's it as far as 
chores go at the farm today. I don't think I had anything else I needed to do today. Gotta go home and do some chores. I got some taters from Haas that I need to cut and let heal. I'm a two-time potato grower, meaning this is my second time, and I grow mine in five-gallon buckets. I cut mine and let them heal. 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 Depending on how south you live, it's heal. H-E-A-L. But I'm a, I let mine heal. That way you get more potatoes. Because you got a potato. If you have a seed potato with like 10 eyes on it, which some of mine do, that's potentially 10 potato plants. But I'll show you guys what I mean. But we're going to go ahead and cut them. Around here, you're not supposed to put them in the ground until I think it's St. Patrick's Day, which is two days away. The problem is it's supposed to be 30 degrees on Thursday, so we won't be putting ours in the ground. We won't be putting them in the ground anyway because we plant in five gallon buckets, but we are gonna go home and cut those up and let them start healing. The way you let them heal or the reason you let them heal is they're a lot less susceptible to things in the ground, contaminants in the dirt, stuff like that, making them rot before they ever sprout. So, uh, but I'll show you guys what I mean when we get that far. I actually have a video it's pretty old. I think it's going on a year, but I've got a video about how I put potatoes in five gallon buckets. I'll link it up there. That's how I grow my potatoes. That's how I'm going to do it again this year. Get back with you guys here in a little bit. What's up guys? It's late. It's very late. And they're snoozing. Sorry you guys haven't seen him in a video in a little bit, but when we got back, we just wanted family time and all that good stuff. But we'll get him in the next one, I promise you, okay? We'll take him to the farm, let him see the turkeys, all that good stuff. We wanted to show you something real quick, and I know your first reaction is gonna be like, but get over it. We sell a lot of these. You guys love them, okay? And when you guys love them, they send us more. Yeah, we love it. This is a light warning. Yep. We're about to show you a flashlight. We're not going to hit the lens with it, but we're going to show you a flashlight. Olight has something called the baton. This is one of my favorites. Let me help you. No, I'm going to get it. <laughs> you got it to play. <laughs> you got to put that music that goes... Give it. See. Listen, Olay. Just send me it with the clip attached. Yeah. Okay. If I have to do it myself, it takes a minute for him. This is this is what happens. Okay. It takes a minute. This is the S1 baton. S1R. Yeah. R1 baton. They've got a third version. We've had this for like a week now. We've been using it. I've been charging it. It's, this isn't like we just opened it up and. Now we're going to tell you how cool it is, okay? I've been using it. I didn't even tell him about it because I knew if I told him, it would disappear and I'd never see it again. Because that's what happens. But show him what you got. There you go. There you go. That's the Baton 3. Yes. And it comes with what now? A okay. sweet... Charger. Charger. Very, very cool. What I want to say, though, is they always have the coolest boxes. I mean, look at this. It's magnetic. But there you go. When you... Kind of set it up to where got the charger. It's pretty cool. It comes with the color of the thing. Is that USB-C? Um, I don't know. Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. Look at that. Sweet. It's about time. Dude, that is cool. So. Flashlight itself. Good God. Now, do you know how many lumens it is? Um, it it says, says on the back. Uh, low is 12 lumens. Medium, 60 lumens and high 300 lumens, turbo is 1200. How long does turbo last? Is it the run time? Yeah, 75 minutes. So 75 minutes, sorry, yeah. excuse me, cool. So less. An hour and a half. Yeah, an hour, no, not an hour and a half. 75 minutes? Yeah, 75. Hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, hour and 15. See, I knew that. An hour and a quarter of another hour. <laughs> but what's so cool about this one? What's so unique about it? Cool thing is, check this out. So first of all, the spring loaded open, that's very cool. And the magnetic close. And then we got 
The light itself. The light itself. And can I just say, this is so cool. It's like the, it kind of looks like a, a bronze kind of color with the accent of red. It's brass. Or, yeah, like brass and and then the red. Very, very cool. Very they come in several different colors. We'll link them down below. Yeah. I do recommend this one because this one's my But favorite. what's unique about that box? Do you know what box. it is? Yes, this, this little holder is actually a charger. Sweet. It's so, it, it, you could like put it in your pocket and then take it out. And then right here it says Baton 3 Wireless Charger. So you just take it and you slide it on in there. It's actually magnetic. And then it just slides right in. Magnetic shut. Boom. So I have a question. For the people who love the baton and already have one, will this work? in there check yes oh wait no not quite not quite but you could take the clip off and it would work yeah you could definitely take actually it. it's charging you just can't close yeah the top. it's charging but you can't close okay the top. so you just have to take the clip off which is no big deal yeah and daddy may have that clip on there backwards we might just need to check here in a little bit yeah that may be me but either way the flashlight fits and it charges mm -hmm. so it's very so, cool this also will charge your flashlight three times, maybe three times plus yes. a little bit more. Like maybe halfway or something. So that's pretty crazy, like three and a half times without having to recharge the pack itself. Very cool. That's very cool. And what I like about that pack is you and I and Bub, we all have go bags that we keep in the truck with like a change of clothes or snacks, something you can leave in your go bag. And number one, it'll stay charged. But number two, it's red, so you can see it in the bottom of a black bag. So, because a lot of people don't think about that. Yeah, and you can also get a, you can get different colors. There's too. blue as well. Yeah, there's black. blue, and then there's black if you, you know, mm -hmm. if you do like that. And the red one, it's just the red one just pops. Yeah. I mean, look at this. Ooh, baby, that's shiny. I know. Then. Yes. Alright, so what do you think? Does it pass the nerd flashlight test? Definitely does. Definitely does. I'm never gonna see that again, am I? Probably not. Yep. But I have to start asking them to send too. Yeah. But <laughs> I do want to say thank you, Olight, always. But I also wanted to just say, well, like, the, the attention to detail. Because look, so first of all, they always got that Olight right on the, the front. Branding. Yep. So you know who, it, who it's from. Very cool. But the I just think this is so cool. Unnecessary, but very cool. So when you, you just... It magnet shut, and then, boom, flies right open. Cool. And you got charging light indicator. Yeah, and you so got... So that indicates that the battery is charged on yeah. the flashlight. And then it says, it even says, fully charge the button, or the, <laughs> fully charge the baton 3.7 times. So that'd be like... Oh, so it'll charge it almost four times. Almost four times. Without having to recharge the pack itself. That's crazy cool. So if you run it on high mode, you get an hour and 15 minutes. So if you can run that flashlight by itself for an hour and 15 minutes on high mode, and you can do it almost four times, you can get almost five hours from that alone. That is impressive. On high mode. I know. That's pretty cool. You, no, that means like, that's super high mode. Normal high mode. That's turbo, that's right. Yeah, it's turbo. On high mode, it can last, who knows. Very cool. That noise is really cool, but also kind of scary. The cicada? Yeah. It's a beautiful sound. I know. Okay. Well, I watched the Predator movie. I know what that sounds like. <laughs> so. This is really hard to there do. There you go. So their sale has started. We have, an we have an official code for you down below. I'll also put it in the video description. Uh, the code only works on certain items because... That's just how it is, guys. They're flash sales. They're sales, okay? You don't get the code and a sale. But if you need anything else, get the code, okay? They do not do international shipping at this time unless you're in the EU. They have their own links, etc. You get the deal. Very, very cool. Right. Okay, I just want to say, look. Looks like I'm videotaping you. Roll, roll the tape. See? Yep. It's even got a little green light, so I know you're recording. Yeah. <laughs> The other thing I told you I was going to do when I got home was cut up my potatoes and heal them. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't feel like doing it. I didn't want to do it. So 
These are the potatoes eyeballs. You wanna touch one? Yeah, no. Just mm. for five dollars. Lick it. Five dollars. Yeah. They're five? clean. Really? They're clean. Five dollars. You, you promise that I can have five dollars. Do you promise you're gonna lick it? If you if yes. I'll give you five dollars if you lick it. And I can go spend it on in there right now. Yeah. Deal expires in five seconds. Five. No. <laughs> Shh. First off, your brother's asleep. Oh, man. Secondly, ew. He left a mark on it. Ew. <laughs> so, see how there's one, two, three, four, five, all those? Okay. These will also, that's an eye. These are all eyes. Okay, and I got a whole bunch of taters. Oh, please don't call it eyes, because then I remember that I just licked it. He just licked its eye. He just licked the eye of the potato. Oh, man. So anyway, what we need to do is cut these up and let them heal, and then we'll get them in the ground. But I'm going to let the eyes come out a little bit more before I cut them up. And yeah, so that'll be in the next video, and we'll see if we can even get them. I'm trying to figure out when. Yeah, well, let's check the weather, but I would really like to get these in the ground, so... Anyway, yeah, we'll do this next video. I'll, I'll say Those are, of course, from Haas. Yeah, I was going to say. What? <laughs> but with that said, this was a really, really long video. This is probably going to be like 45 minutes. I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But until next time, I'll be good. Don't work too hard. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't make it weird. God bless. Deuces. Deuces.